Exposing the truth about producing music and growing a fan base as a recording artist. I've been doing music as an artist for 14 years now, and I've been producing music for eight years. I've made tons of mistakes, so in this video, I wanna expose some of the things that I've seen in the music industry and try to save you as much trouble as possible. And I wanna help you make back tens of thousands of dollars per year that you could be using on actually growing as an artist and growing your fan base. So if you're a recording artist and you're ready to produce your own music and you wanna learn a very unique strategy strategy to grow your fan base, then this video is going to be for you. So I actually started out as just a rapper, meaning all I could do is write lyrics and record vocals. I got beats off YouTube first, then I would buy beats off the internet. I got my own studio. I was starting to record and try to mix and master on my own at home. And then I started working with some local producers for them to help me buy them producing beats for me. Sometimes I would record at their house and I would have them help me with the mixing and mastering side. They were really good at what they did. They were super skilled. At the time, they were way more skilled at producing than I was, but the problem was we would just always butt heads creatively, whether it was on creative choices, meeting up to actually work on music, or getting songs done in a timely manner. I realized super quickly that I wasn't gonna be able to grow as an artist, growing a career, growing my fan base, growing my business, if I wasn't able to actually release songs on a consistent basis. And what happened was I, I realized that me working with producers at that time was what was holding me back. Alongside with all of the other challenges that come with being an artist, like learning how to grow a fan base, you know, having money at the time was a really big challenge for me. So all of these different things going on, it just felt like there was just too many challenges. And I knew I was going to be able to tackle at least one of those challenges, the main challenge, which was, dude, I'm not releasing songs on a consistent enough basis. So I realized that working with producers just wasn't going to cut it. And I saw that Russ was killing it. And I saw Russ was killing it by doing a new song every week by fully producing his own songs. So I started to think about what my reality as an artist would be like if I could fully produce instrumentals, record vocals, mix, and master. So after about seven years of being just a recording artist and songwriter, I decided to start learning music production on my own. I graduated college, I was 23 years old, and my dad asked me, well, son, you graduated with a college degree, what do you want to do with your life now? I already knew from the time I was 17 years old what I wanted to do, but here's exactly what I said to my dad. I said, Dad, there are two things I want to do. I want to coach basketball and I want to make music. That was literally it. So for the next four years, I was essentially just grinding my way through life. I was coaching youth basketball in the evenings. I was also training players and I was learning how to produce my own music during the daytime. It was super difficult to learn how to produce my own music on YouTube. It took me about a year to release my very first song where I made the beat, recorded, mixed, and mastered. But honestly, it really took me four years to feel like I was really putting out great music that could compete. And here's why it took me so long. There's obviously great information on YouTube. There's a lot of information out on YouTube, but you probably already know this. It's all over the place. The information's super disorganized. And the other thing I learned was you don't know what you don't know. Now, I was lucky enough, and I'm still lucky enough, to have my friend Corey Wallace be there for me. He's a very experienced producer. In fact, he's been producing music a lot longer than I have. So I could always bounce ideas off of him and ask him for advice, and he's given me a lot of great tips and tricks. And in fact, with songs that he's produced, he's generated over 11 million streams. And so that's why when I started Rapid Fire Music Academy, I knew I was gonna want Corey to come help me and help our clients be successful when it came to learning music. But the problem was I didn't have a community of people that I could really come together and talk to and bounce ideas off of that were on the same route as me. And I also didn't have a structured way of learning everything step by step. But at the end, it's been eight years since I started learning music production and being able to fully produce my own music as a recording artist has changed my life. I've gotten a few songs to get tons of views and streams, which is pretty cool. And it's opened up a lot of doors for me to network with bigger producers like Legion Beats, 
Kato on the track, and Omido beads. And it's made growing a fan base a whole lot easier, which we're gonna dive into right now. So now that I can fully produce my own music, I was able to release songs on a way more consistent basis. But I still had a problem. You probably already know this, but I learned quickly that just releasing music on a consistent basis without an actually effective marketing strategy isn't gonna work. I tried releasing a song every two weeks, and I even tried releasing a new song every single week for 12 weeks in a row. If you want, you can actually go check out the playlist I did called Peaceful Friday. Fridays. Now maybe that wasn't long enough, right? Maybe doing a song every week for 12 weeks and doing a song every two weeks for a year, maybe that just wasn't long enough for me to actually see the results. But I was still putting in way more work than the amount I was getting back. And I wanted a faster, more predictable way. So through all of this, I learned one of the most valuable lessons that you can learn in the music industry. And here's what it is. If you want to make it, you need to pay to play. Obviously, it's totally possible to grow a music fan base without needing to spend any money, but the chances are so slim and it requires so much work that I just didn't even think it was worth trying. However, I've never been the type to shy away from investing money into the growth of my music, especially if I knew it was gonna be predictable and scalable. So then I took to learning paid advertising. I mostly have experience running Facebook and Instagram ads, but I've also dabbled a little bit with Google and YouTube ads too. Through a lot of trial and error and investing <laughs> tons of money into mentorship, and at this point, I would say around $70,000 on paid ads, I figured out a really interesting unique, different way to actually be able to grow a fan base. I call it the music social funnel. The way it works is actually really simple. I run a really simple video selfie ad, calling out people who might be interested in hearing my style of music. And then in the video, I prompt them to send me a message if they wanna hear a sneak peek of a song that I have coming out on a new album. Once they click that they wanna send a message, basically asking again, hey, do you want me to send you over the song, yes or no? And once they've expressed yes, that they do want to hear the song, I send them over a private SoundCloud link where they can hear the demo. And I just ask, hey, after you've listened to the song, can you just let me know what you thought of it? I'd love to get your feedback. And from there, if they've expressed that they like or love the song, I get into an actual organic conversation with that person where it's literally me typing talking to these people. These conversations have led to an extremely deep relationship with my fans. And the cool thing is moving forward, when I have new music coming out, I can go message every single one of those people in Instagram or Facebook and say, hey, I've got a new song that's out. Is it cool if I send it your way? And I can send that to the hundreds and thousands of people that have sent me a message. What's even cooler is it's actually led to sales. I've actually gotten people through these DM conversations to buy physical CDs. So when it comes to being a recording artist, here's what I can tell you. First off, producing your own music will set you free. There is no feeling more liberating than being able to walk out of my bedroom, come right here to my living room, pop onto my computer, and be able to make an entire song, as many songs, as fast as I want, as many as I want, without needing to spend a penny, without needing to meet up with anyone, without needing to coordinate schedules, without needing to butt heads creatively. And from a business standpoint, I'm able to make back tens of thousands of dollars per year by producing my own music. One of my clients actually named Devin Christodoulou used to spend $1,000 per song to get it produced recorded, mixed, and mastered. When he came and joined my Rapid Fire Music Academy, he had no music production experience. He wrote songs and played guitar, that was it. And he recorded in his laundry room. He ended up getting three songs fully produced, written, recorded, mixed, and mastered in the course of just 90 days working in my academy. So now with him, if you think about it, if he puts out a new song every single month, he's making back over 12 grand per year by fully producing his own music. That's 12 grand that he can now go spend on a paid advertising strategy like the music social funnel. And the same thing has happened to me. Now that I can make back those tens of thousands of dollars by fully producing my own music, I'm now able to generate five to 10 new fans per day messaging me wanting to hear my music and me being able to turn those fans into paying customers. So to summarize this entire video, Here's where I'm at. I don't need to spend any money to be able to create any songs. I can make and release songs whenever I want as fast as I want, and I own the full rights to my music. And now because I have all of that time and money back, I can invest that into the growth of my fan base and I can grow my fan base on 
autopilot without needing to go viral on social media, without needing to create tons of content, without needing to get tons of streams on Spotify. I don't need radio. I don't need a record label. I don't even need big connections in the music industry. I am 1000% free as a recording artist. So here's what you can do from here. Just to go learn music production on your own is a task in and of itself. To tack on now learning how to grow a fan base effectively is even more challenging and doing it without the conventional music industry route. It's the golden question that has plagued musicians forever. So here's what you can do. Option number one is you can leave this video and you can go try to figure it out on your own for free with all the information out on the internet. You're probably a really smart person and I'm confident that you could go figure it out on your own. The only problem is you're just going to have a big question mark as to when you're going to get it figured out. Or you can go with another option. I would love to invite you to come apply to work with me and my team in the Rapid Fire Music Academy. What we do is we teach recording artists like you and me how to become their own music producers in just 90 days. Now with just that alone, I've been doing that since January of 2023 and we've helped tons of other recording artists like my client Devin, who I mentioned, become their own producers in 90 days. But just recently, I decided to upgrade my offer and launch the music social funnel along with learning how to produce your own music. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can do one of two things. You can click below and go watch the breakdown of what my entire program looks like if you want to get more detailed information. Or if you feel like you're ready to just speak to me or my team as soon as possible, you can also click below and click the Calendly link and you can book a call with me or my team to talk about it. If it seems like we're a good fit and I'm 110% confident I can help you, what I'll do on the call, I'll build out some higher level strategies, show you what it would look like to partner up, customize a plan for you so that in the next 90 days, you're going to be able to produce your own songs and grow your fan base effectively with our music social fund. If it doesn't seem like we're a good fit, that's cool too. At the very least, I'll just point you in a different direction. So like I said, you can go hop off this video, go try to learn all this stuff for free. You're probably pretty smart. You might be able to figure it out. Be my guest. Or if you want to come work with me and my team and you need a little bit more information, click below and go watch the video where I break down what my entire program looks like. But if at this point you've watched enough of my content, you like this video at least, and you're ready to just speak with me directly and enroll in the academy, I'd love to have you. Click below, book a call with either me or my team, and we can get you started. But either way, I look forward to serving you and supporting you in your career in any capacity. So hope you enjoyed the video and you got value. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.